Now, let's get back to the fact that it's Valentine's Day, a beautiful love story, everybody wants that. So it actually ties into baseball, which yes, it's out of season, but we know love never is. Tamara Lopez sat down with a couple who shares why they hit a home run in the love department at an isotopes game. I still remember like when I turned, I was just like, oh my gosh. Six years ago, Stephen Barrow sat down at an Isotopes game and met his future wife. But it wasn't a date, just pure fate. So my dad's a huge Holly Home fan, and we came out to the game um, to see Holly was going to be here. My parents made sure they were one of the first hundred people in line to get a Holly Home bobblehead. For myself and a group of my friends, it was a celebration of my soon-to-be 30th birthday, and I didn't want to do the average. I wanted to do something a little more fun, so I was like, let's go to a game. It was in these same seats they met through mutual friends. You know, I wasn't expecting to, to meet the most literally amazing and beautiful woman I've seen in, in real life. You know, I didn't plan on it. Steven says he started calling her the Isotopes girl and snapped this photo of her. But it wasn't a home run for the couple right away. After months of talking, Lillian says Steven tried to friend zone her. Then after coming to his senses, they officially started dating. So after dating for a few years and coming back to games every year as a tradition, that's when Steven got the idea of how he wanted to propose. With the help of the isotopes, he set up the surprise of a lifetime for Lillian. A wedding proposal between any. At the same place they met, they got engaged. I was just in total shock. It was something that I, I knew that I loved him well beyond when I, when other people may have thought, you know? So it was like a dream come true. It was really precious. They might not have stolen any bases, but they did steal each other's hearts. It's a beautiful night. Tamara Lopez, KOB4. She said yes, they are very happy. And the couple married in 2019, and they're expecting a baby girl this coming May.